this one is the ultrasonic interferometer setup this window which is uh, micro emitter screw gauge which is already adjusted through this adjusted node through the coaxial cable in this device we fill the water and at the bottom here one crystal which is provide the frequency it is uh, connected through the reflector plate and this one is the micrometer screw gauge this one is our main scale and uh, at the top this one is the circular scale so this is the whole setup of ultrasonic interferometer setup the main thing in this setup is what at the bottom one crystal which is provide the ultrasonic frequency it is go through the bottle it is reflect through this reflector plate and uh, produce some standing waves so we got a deflection here we have to measure that deflection through the micrometer so put a title ultrasonic interferometer and our objective is what our objective is basically find the velocity to measure the velocity of ultrasonic wave in water that's why i filled the water in that particular instrument and determine the compressibility of water so we have to use the apparatus ultrasonic interferometer with micrometer screw frequency generator and coaxial cable a simple terminology which is in equation velocity which is equal to what velocity which is equal to lambda into frequency wavelength into frequency we already know ultrasonic frequency and we have to find the wavelength so first of all let's find the least count of micrometer screw we have a formula pitch divided by total number on circular scale how much the pitch 0 0.5 0.5 and the total number on circular scale we have a total 50 numbers so divided by 50 so 0.5 divided by 50 which is equal to 0 0.01 but remember the scale in a millimeter also so we already covered a portion about the list count lc is clear let's go with the observation table in the observation table we have a main scale reading a after that coinciding number b one year scale reading b into lc we already found the lc and after that just uh, last reading which is a plus c we already aware with this micrometer screw gauge so no problem the main thing is just rotate the micrometer screw gauge we got a deflection let's see first i want to show one demo but the main thing is what whenever you are starting just check uh, some mark on the micrometer screw gauge at this time uh, it has a 15 60 70 18 19 it has a 19 and the coinciding number is i think 31 so every time whenever you are rotating suppose i am rotating it's a circular scale so distance will change and uh, i got a uh, one deflection see the needle which is going into the left side direction just turn it in the same direction up to one deflection and whenever it comes back its same position stop again check what is the value on micrometer screw gauge so it is 15 16 17 18 18 on main scale and on circular scale is 27 so write down your value main scale which is 18 on the circular scale it means coinciding mark on the one year scale which is 27 now simple formula multiply with lc so it becomes 0 0.27 and just add 18 plus 0 0.27 so it becomes 18.27 simple let's another again turn it in the same direction so needle which is going into the right side right side and again it comes back its same position so check the value how much it is yeah 15 after 16 17 and uh, right side one digit which is 17.5 so our main scale which is sorry our main scale reading which is 17 0.5 okay 
and uh, my coinciding one year mark how much it is yeah it is 45 so just multiply with lc it become 0.45 and after that just add simply so 17.95 again do the same thing turn it up to one deflection so i am turning the top circular scale so it is going 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 now it's come back select it. again check the reading how much deflection you got in the length uh, yeah 17.5 and the main number is 4 so again my main scale is on the same number 17.5 the coinciding number this time is 4 multiply with lc 0. Point, sorry 0. Point 0.04 and after that just simply add 17.54 you can go with uh, some more readings but for the result it is enough so at each point one which is maxima one which is minima so just the uh, first one subtract the second one we got point 0.32 from second one subtract the third one we got 0.41 every time the first one which is maxima after that we got minima after that again maxima after that minima so we got number of result at the end we have to take an average take an average so the average number which is lambda by 2 we got the half of the wavelength because every time maxima minima maxima minima which is indicate lambda by 2 and we got 0 0.365 which is average which is equal to lambda by 2 now the simple thing is what we got lambda by 2 0 0.365 millimeter and uh, we already provided the frequency we already know it is 2 megahertz mega it means how much 2 into 10 to power 6 hertz so this one is the frequency now we have a simple equation just put the value lambda we have a lambda by 2 so multiply with 2 2 into whatever we got 0 0.365 millimeter it means 10 to power minus 3 and frequency 2 into 10 to power 6 simply calculate it so we got uh, how much yeah 1.46 oh, 10 to power 3 so it became 1460 meter per second 1460 meter per second so this one is the speed of ultrasonic wave in water okay and the second step compressibility we have a equation 1 by rho v square which is density density which is already provided 996 0.458 and after that v square we found the velocity the square it use the calculator so you got 4.7 10 to power minus 10 and the unit of this compressibility is what meter square per newton so it's so simple we found our velocity as a result and compressibility so sum up the velocity of ultrasonic waves in water is 1460 meter per second and compressibility is how much 4.7 into 10 to power minus 10 meter square per newton it's so simple and we got a very good result thank you thank you very much to all